Today I'm visiting Nearstar's zinc smelter site here in Berlin. Nearstar Belgium's production processes were fully electrified in the 1970s and I'm here to find out more about the advantages that has brought them. Stephen, could you tell us how important electricity is as a power source for Nearstar and how it affects your activities and processes? Nearstar's zinc process is fully electrified. Our electrolysis uses about 90% of the total power consumption of the plant. And when you look at zinc, zinc is, is an essential raw material for uh, solar panels, wind turbines, electric vehicles. So it's important in the energy transition. As Nearstar, we are constantly adapting to market conditions on the electricity market to manage our production. And how do you provide flexibility for the grid? Uh, we already provide flexibility to Elia for more than decades. Our electrolysis can reduce its power within minutes. Obviously, this impacts our zinc production. But we want to do even more. In the future, we want to extend our electrolysis. We can not only reduce the power but also increase the power and at that time we can be much more flexible and that's what we call a virtual battery. And could you tell us how this virtual battery actually works? When production is high, so there's high amount of um, solar uh, energy or wind energy, we would increase our production so that we can match the production of electricity. On the other hand, when the power is not available on the market, we would reduce our power consumption. This requires, of course, some investment. We have to expand our cellos and you have to install buffer capacity before the cellos so that our other production processes keep on running. So we consume the electricity when it's available and we reduce when it's needed. So Thomas, could you tell us a bit more about the flexibility projects that you've been working on here at Nearstar? Yes, next to the long-term strategic virtual battery project that we're working on, we're also already offering uh, ancillary services to Elia. We're offering in MFRR and AFRR, and by doing so, we decrease our electrical consumption in the electrolysis uh, at the activation request of Elia. Then we decrease the consumption, decrease the production of, of zinc. And you're also working on some renewable energy projects at the same time, is that right? That's correct. So for example, we're a partner with the Crystal Solar Park here in Balen. We also help to develop uh, wind turbines on our sites in Balen and Belt. And besides that, we are also working together with uh, Nell Renewables, who are developing a battery energy storage system here at our Belt in Balen as well. By doing so, they tend to balance the electrical grid in Belgium by also balancing the renewable energy production with the demand. So you're contributing to the energy transition in Belgium? That's correct. So we're combining our local flexible assets from the electrolysis together with local renewable energy sources and battery energy. Uh, and by doing so, we tend to support the energy transition as much as we can. And um, how about the benefits of these projects? Have you started to feel them already? Well, since we already did a lot of the electrification projects in the past, we already had a lot of the benefits coming towards us. Now, specifically last year when electrical prices were, were soaring high, we made use of the experience that we built up to decrease our electrical consumption and also decrease production when it was just not economically feasible to keep producing. The Belgian energy system is going to need more and more companies to provide flexibility, just like Nearstar has been doing. To find out more, visit whatshappening.be.